Hi, how are you today? Um, this is my mom, the loveliest person in our family. I don't know. And um, well, sh sh she's here to just speak, and maybe, maybe I can ask her some questions and stuff. So you know, let's, let's just welcome her. All right. Um, so mom, um, I was just wondering, uh, how, how are you and Daryl, um, doing with each other? Very good. We're in love, and I trust him, and he's honest with me, and he treats me well. Okay, um, how are you feeling on being on my show? Well, it's the first time I've been interviewed for a show, so it's kind of interesting. Yeah, I like it a lot. It's um, it's pretty fun. I mean, I've got my own stage set up here, obviously, you can see, mm -hmm. and um, it's, it's just nice to have a per a mom in this, who loves who, who loves and cares as much as you and um, I try my best. Yeah, every every time you get money, you know, you you always it you, you always keep you you always keep like maybe like ten dollars to yourself and you spend the rest of the hundred or hundred and fifty dollars on the house and people and stuff. You know, I spent my whole Christmas money on everyone. I know, and that's an amazing thing. And my birthday is in three days. So. And actually two days, and uh, well, whatever I get, I'm going to spend going out with Daryl and Ashley. We're going to go to a nightclub called Vinyl, and I haven't been to a nightclub for a long time. The first time was in Montreal when we went for our trip in July, hmm. but that was the first time ever with going out with Daryl to dance and listen to music. Yeah, and um, how are you feeling about your birthday coming up? I'm excited. I'll be 40. 40, 40 years, years old. old. Wow, that's and yeah. and and you know like 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 like, like let's get back to the to the subject where you know like I uh, no, I'm I just um you know like I just forgot what I was going to say. Um when, when it's your birthday um, hopefully you can come on my show again, and um, I'll be there'll be a present waiting here for you, and um, there'll be music and. Do um, you think you could sing to me? Happy birthday when yeah, it's my birthday. Yeah, I'll sing. I'll sing. I'll sing "Stole It" and um, I'll sing "Happy Birthday" to you. That's nice. Uh, oh yeah, um, my friend James, his birthday um, was was a few weeks ago, but what we celebrated, but I forgot to sing "Stole It," so I so sing a song. Singing to him, stole it today, and um, yeah, he did. Was, he ask him what it meant? Yeah, I was, I was like, Happy birthday! He's like, Wow, that's pretty cool. Mm -hmm. and I'm like, Yeah, he, his mom is deaf, and uh, so he has to speak sign language. Mm -hmm. And um, whenever his mom tries to phone, that she, she, she has to make a video of it, and then she has to send it uh, with sign language, and then and then and then someone. Like like James or or someone who knows sign language has to tell tell them what. Remember, they're... do you uh, know anything about TTYs? What's that? TTY is a special service put on by um, deaf organization, and you phone this number, and what they do is uh, the person that's deaf has a TTY at home. It's a machine, and it sends you uh, written. You just read what the person on the other line is saying because there's an operator that Has joins, a no, that listens to the normal person talking, and then translates it into typing for the deaf person in their house to read, so that they know what's going on on the conversation. Oh yeah, yeah. Um, all yeah, that's pretty cool. That's if you don't have, if you don't have a text. Uh, text option like on a cell phone if you don't have a cell phone you can still use TTYs. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. So so um I'm just wondering when is your birthday? Um well I might spoil the surprise, I might not but then don't tell me. Okay. I just you still have two days for my birthday. Let's talk about something else. Okay. Um well Okay, um, Any questions you want to ask me, or you want to tell me something that happened to you, or maybe a memory you have of when you were little? 
Yeah, actually, um, w when I was little, I still remember the dream that I had. Uh, I, I was I was in an elevator, like a red like elevator, and it wasn't bloody or anything, right? It was, it was red paint, and it was like bars, and you could see through it, and you could see through the floor and stuff and all that. Really? And, and we were going up, and, and I was still standing. We were going to check to see if my throat was okay in the university hospital. Mm -hmm. And um, and and I still remember that dream. I I, I was crying because I was scared of going in the elevator, mm -hmm. and I was kind of crying. And I could hear saying, "Brian, it's okay. Don't worry. It's it's just an elevator." And I, as and you know, and then we went to the top, and and I and I remember me just kind of like, kind of walking and like really slow to, with you, mm -hmm. and you're holding my hand, and we went and checked out my throat and all that stuff, and we were going for a checkup and. It was really cool, and and I remember quite a few things, but that was, but that was one of my last memories, like a long time ago. So, yeah, it was um, it's pretty cool. That I think I was like one or two. When when was I walking? Well, you were already walking before you were one years old, but yeah, around one you were I, basically walking around. You, you know, like how can you remember dreams until when you're one and then you're like eleven? That's a whole 11 years apart. Yeah, but the brain does that. It puts away things sometimes in your memory, and you don't even realize it till one day you remember it. Yeah, it's, um, so, so anything you want to tell me? Like, not, like, not like, today. Like Maybe I mean, next time I interview. Like I, mean, like, I mean, this is one thing, you know, like, like, okay, w when I get your present, if if you if you have I need at least seven dollars and I can get you this really nice present, mm -hmm. but but you're you're technically buying it which which you know makes me kind of down because because you know if if you want to give me seven dollars, I can go to the place and I can get you a really nice presents a couple of them little presents, and um, yeah I I I got you curtains eh yeah yeah that was very nice. You found a nice kind of like brown Give burlap. Yeah, and they were like burlap. You can see through them, but you can't see in, and they're really nice. Like a sandy tan color, and yeah. one pair I hung in the bathroom. And the other pair I'm going to use downstairs for the dining room, because we don't have any curtains there. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, th there's also something that I wanted to show. Um, coffee and that. Just talk to the camera a bit while I'm trying to... Well, I'm actually ready to go downstairs. I have some it, things I have to do, Brian. And then we have to go to the Walmart. Okay, never mind. I'll just sit. So well, thank you for inviting me to your show. Alright. Okay. Thank you for having me. Maybe next time you can invite me back. Of course I'm going to invite you back. Anytime you want, you can just come up. Alright. Love you. Bye. Love you. person in our family who cares a lot about everyone, who loves everyone, who's a very loving person, and I was glad to introduce her, and I'd like to say good night. <laughs>